guys, it's Kid again with another ROM review, and this time I've got Omega Droid V52. And yes, V52 is the uh, highest version of a ROM which I've ever done. The previous version was the ARHD V40. <laughs> so, what is this ROM? This is a stock based ROM. The V52 is a 4.3 Android, a stock XXUGMK6 based ROM which well if I had to say this is kind of like the Ultima ROM with a lot of features with a lot of features into the aroma package and inside the ROM let's get into it first so here we have the lock screen which is the swipe to unlock lock screen the um, ripple effect so the launcher is the same um, launcher nothing too much specific about it you have all the options now I have installed the uh, no every blotware all the blotware has been installed for me uh, by me so you have all of those so yeah you'll be seeing all of those it does have an aroma package but the aroma package is more of a minimal thing you can either install all the blotware or not install all the blotware so you don't have the option to choose what all blotware you have to install but there is an option to choose what all extra third party apps you need to install so that's there now let's go to settings about phone so here is the about phone page uh, let's go to about device now here you can see it is Android 4.3 for some reason the modem file is not MK6 uh, I would have preferred MK6 over this one which is MK1 I believe it is a older version but yeah I didn't feel any difference but hey the newer version kind of well that's what I want so yeah uh, you can see build number is Android Omega 52 xxumk 6 so yeah that's the main part of the ROM so here's one thing you can see it is the uh, I guess the Omega Android guy and I can just do it for to toss around a bunch of Omegas and the Omega Android guy so yeah it is there so that's pretty cool now in terms of features the internal features the framework features are almost as similar to the stock ROM so you don't have uh, any fancy stuff like light effects or anything like that it's simple it it gets the works work down it is an s3 rom it's pretty cool you do, you won't have a uh, unlock effect like the lens flare or anything like that so you're stuck with this with the rom you can of course flash additional files it comes with a bevy of apps that is third body apps you can see um, it comes with android sync profiler i'll just try Android Sync Profiler is like you can create profiles to sync data uh, by deleting the previous data. That's something useful uh, if you if the phone is being used or by more than one person. This kind of can work out. It does come with Auto Manager. I didn't install anything extra other than Antutu Benchmarks. So whatever you are seeing here is comes with the ROM. You do have a Nexus 5 camera also. So if you want. Um, something like um, I don't know light sphere you can use that uh, camera app always it's better it's better to take uh, a quality photo from this than the MK, uh, the AOSP camera app it does come with Chrome it does come with CPU adjuster which is this one which is basically an overclock thing so you can use that it does require root yes it does work pretty cool yeah, you can increase the maximum CPU speed, I guess, from somewhere. Um, yeah, that's available. What else? ES File Explorer. It is available. It's one of the best file managers till date, I guess. Um, the online Android Backup. It does have that. I don't know if this is used by anyone, but online backup is not something which I would recommend. Just saying. Okay. Uh, what else? My multi window manager allows you to have what all apps. It is an exposed framework. It does come with exposed framework. So, yeah, I just in selected installing the exposed framework. Okay, so I'll do that later. 
it does have recycle bin which I really appreciate um, many times people do delete stuff which are important and they can't recover it so I guess recycle bin is kind of same as what it the same app works uh, on the PC so yeah I'm hoping that Z archiver is kind of like this zip manager you can uh, un uh, you can open zip files and stuff like that so you can extract compress to 7 zip so that's there really useful I guess yes file explorer also does the same thing but yeah you have the dedicated app for that you also have fast dormancy which is a really great thing if you live in an area like mine which where the carriers do not have fast dormancy so you can use that so that's pretty cool uh, notification manager again as the name suggests it uh, not it changes your notification um, it gives appropriate ringtones or something uh, things like that for different notifications that's pretty cool now the main thing about this ROM you see this this is Omega Droid which is kind of like this news app from the Omega Droid Omega Droids blog so you have all the latest news from his site so you can see Omega Files Pro has been released Omega Droid for S3 for V52 has been released so things like that are available from here and you can get a notification if a new thing comes along you can get Google Plus Facebook etc from here that is the articles on Omega Droid blog so that's kind of a really good thing you if you want to be updated with this ROM you can have that so that's pretty cool um, some one more uh, specific app is this Omega Files which is you can see the lion head that's pretty cool so yeah this is the um, better things on Omega Files Pro the one which, the, which with which it comes is the light version I guess it has less options maybe okay so yeah it is supported on all these devices up to 10.1 uh, tab so you can see no 10.2 10.1 so that's there so yeah all of these are supported you can select whatever your device is and uh, you can see well there are two versions for s3 uh, the one I have is for 4.3 Android version now you have a bunch of things you can select so first of all you have information which gives you all these things so first of all Omega files what is this new additions that is new things which are in the in here all rooted ROMs you can read that all Omega ROMs Omega V52 based on XX UMK6 download them donate also if you want to donate you can do that from the app new additions these are kind of like the change log so you can see from uh, 12, 12, 22 12 2013 that is the version at uh, which 52 was released these are the change logs so yeah not much of a change log but 911 was on MJ9 I believe so I didn't actually give that a real chance because yeah now MJ9 was just a mess you do have a lot of boot animation and stuff like that I really love the boot animation on this I'll show you guys in that um, in a minute you can restore original boot animation and original shutdown animation if you don't like the boot animation with this it does have Omega boot animation which is custom so you can go to uh, a browser and check that you have option to select kernel you can have stock kernel that is MK6 kernel or MJ9 kernel believe me you don't want to go for mj9 kernel that's just there if you are really crazy so you do have options for launcher you have nova launcher apex launcher and go launcher ex so whatever launcher you want you can download from here modem files this is where i found it was lacking it doesn't have the option for mk6 modem i don't know why but yeah the only option is the mk1 i don't know so yeah programs also you have all these available from this app so you can download it and just install them um, utilities again CSC changer and CSC selector if you are in a uh, country where CSC matters you can select uh, other CSCs like Australia I guess which is quite kind of difficult to get the Australian CSC is kind of difficult to get I believe I'm not sure so yeah keyboard options you have Android keyboard and Samsung keyboard so Android keyboard is one with the 4.4 um, with the gesture type pretty cool sounds also you can have boot sound and boot plug-in charger sound so yeah uh, when you plug in your charger a sound comes right so you can have that restored modifications all these 
call recorder, no two power browser, MMS mod which is already in build, uh, battery icon, you can see it is circle mode rather than the original TouchWiz battery, so you have, you can select that, YouTube, TouchWiz scrolling wallpaper, pretty cool, you have all that options too. Themes, this is something which is really awesome, uh, not from this, if you go to the link in the description that is the XDA page, you do have a bunch of themes which you can select for this ROM, which is, well, it's pretty cool, uh, stock ROMs are not the easiest to theme, so yeah, it's pretty cool to see the developer giving something for the people other than the, just the touchless interface, that's a pretty cool. So let's show you guys the uh, Antutu benchmark. The Antutu benchmark, while it's not the best, it's pretty damn good. You can see it is 18973. It's pretty good. Uh, I didn't expect so much. So yeah, it's just above S3. Till now, the best performing stock ROM is the Archie Droid. That's no, there's no doubt about it. But this one's pretty cool. You got uh, about 19,000. So that's a really a great score. Let's show you guys the boot animation and the shutdown animation. It does have 4 way reboot so that's something which is lovely. So here is the shutdown animation with the lion head and the omega droid. That's pretty cool. So here is the boot animation with the and the omega droid guy walking it's a really smooth boot animation i didn't expect uh, so much it must be a huge file it is actually a smooth boot animation it's pretty cool so i guess that is it uh, i'm not going to show you guys the uh, omega the, the aroma installer it's kind of self explanatory it doesn't have much options to select it does give you an option to, bevy of options to select the third party apps so that's uh, a given so yeah, I guess that much is it. Um, in summary, this one is a great performing ROM. Uh, I'm shocked to see all the Bloodway installed and all these third party apps installed and still maintaining a score of 19,000. That's pretty damn impressive. And one thing more, the battery life, I don't know what's going on. It's not the best battery saving. Uh, you can see it is 74%. Uh, while I was filming this, when the, at the start of this filming, um, it was at 77 so at about 3% has gone uh, while taking the video I'm not sure why but it seems yeah it just went on another bar it's 73 now so yeah battery is I I don't know why but battery is kind of crappy but yeah but rest of them are really cool uh, it's a great performance ROM so yeah i guess that's about it i uh, hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye